I don't know if this is leg day footage or an audition tape for the Karatistic Kid. The mirror says, please use spotters. I say, sweep the leg. We do not train to be functional here. Functional fitness is for the weak. In here, on the street, in competition. If you were to tell him to squat that weight, he'd use the paper crane technique. After giving him some simple instructions, we'd see his whole body fold up. Not only does training like a crane ensure that he remains the same, but if he drops that on someone, there could be more bones showing than the Cobra Kai on Halloween. Meanwhile, the asset in the Smith machine is completely ignoring stabilization. Combining that range of motion with this free weight is what Miyagi meant by finding balance, Daniel-san. I can't wait to see this schmuck deadlift. When he gets snapped up, the old man who rubs his hands together before fixing him up won't be this guy, it'll be that guy. In the meantime, Pepper Ann and that life-sized homies figurine had better know first aid. Just use plates and lay supine on a bench, fuck mooks. Stop reinventing the wheel. Always kick the tires before hiring a trainer, or he might make you bench the fucking tires afterwards. In the ring, no less. I haven't seen such hideous contortion in the ring since the hideous contortions in the ring. She'd better tread carefully, or her next blowout won't be in her hair. If she bends her knees much less than that when she squats, then they need to be kicked in their collective balls right now. That skinny douche has a better chance of building a muscle car than a muscular physique. The tires, the ball, and the value of that personal trainer's certification are more inflated than Venezuela's currency. That feel when the Bolivar is still more fuerte than her pectoral. At least those weights aren't filled with helium like CrossFit plates. If Randy in the medicinal fried chicken episode of South Park tucked back his sack and hit his pecs, it would look something like this. Speaking of cancerous junk, that's a source of comedy. Exotic names, I'm still not the biting Lane Norton. That's like turning down a chance to fight Apollo Creed, if Rocky actually had a job and could afford his own place. I already make a middle class living, said the compulsive liar who was supposedly evicted last month. <laughs> I hope I have Wi-Fi at the soup kitchen. Your last antics have been not having an apartment and not accepting a challenge. You have to do a lot better as the village idiot of YouTube fitness if you want to stay on the show. Non-negotiable. <laughs> Fair enough. Nice shades, fuckface. You must be as hypersensitive to light as you are to legit criticism. The blind guy who did your ink must wear his indoors, too. Cheating at preacher curls. It's like I found Brad Dingleberry's long-lost, older, natty brown cousin. His stringer says maybe you should train as hard as you hate. I think he should train as hard as he vapes. He only has upper body lifting footage on his Instagram. Between that and the tats, if he ever records himself screaming in the car about how much he likes pre-workout and dislikes training legs, then my bro Robert Frank 615 is going to have some competition. Those lines on his arms and on his disproportionately small legs make him look like Tony the Bengal Tiger. Performing this bicep exercise on this side of the preacher bench makes it more stricter. He's the most biggest retard in the gym if he thinks using his whole entire body to do quarter curls is strict. He looks like Dalsim if Capcom gave him Guile's shades, but extinguished the yoga fire of his metabolism and nerfed his ability to extend his arms. The sticker on his cap bothers me, but the fact that he's not wearing his helmet instead bothers me more. Good fucking morning, goddammit! Rich Piana here with another episode of Smaller by the Day! My CrossFit show, motherfucker! Wow, that place is packed. <laughs> Good thing we're watching it from here or we wouldn't have a place to sit. At least the bar will have a place to sit. It looks like his lumbar vertebrae will split. And his right foot's off, which is not the way to start off on the right foot. I don't know what's more uneven, goddammit. The crowd distribution or his hand placement. When they say a mixed grip leads to imbalances, this is not what they mean. They don't let you pull sumo, but they'll let you pull like Samson. He coordinates his motor units worse than he coordinated his socks. Your form can't break down if it was dog shit from the start. I haven't seen anyone choke this badly at the halfway mark since this past Super Bowl. Ramping that much when you're pulling should be called hitchhiking. This bandit will need a CT scan quick. The only group without laws is the one running this shit show. Of course Reebok's a sponsor. Gotta promote being more human to dipshits who'll need artificial hips and dialysis machines to confuse the body. Right, babe? We were away last week, so let's do another one. I'm ready. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? Years after this viral video and crossfitters are still failing at strongman, like this Arthur lift. When fucktards drop weights, I get the Arthur fist. This Eastern Block lifter looks like an L Block Tetris piece. The next piece I see better have one in the chamber and be aimed at his own head. He ended up shooting himself in the foot instead. He's no stranger to gambling with his life if he does crossfit in an Altus belt. 
Never use a cannon to kill a fly, you mean never use a barbell to scratch an itch? Or improve your ankle mobility! He's becoming a supple snow leopard. I guess that's why they're endangered! Give CrossFit enough time and they'll, they'll be extinct! extinct. The fuck is this? A good morning or a dasvidanya? In Soviet Russia, bar drops you. Crossfit is like Matroska doll carving. Why is that? Because it's turned taking bodies apart and making them smaller into an art form. Fair enough. He damn near converted one of his heels to flats. He's lucky his dumb ass could walk away from this, or he'd be a white Russian with a twist. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now.